What's up guys, Tommy Bennett here, and today, I'm just gonna be real with you, turns are the absolute most important thing in snowboarding, and it is literally the gateway to everything that you're gonna do. If you wanna be a ripping backcountry rider, an X Games athlete, or have the sickest day keeping up with, with your friends, it is so critical that you're able to turn your snowboard. So in today's video, I'm gonna dive into the most common problems or the most common body positions that are making snowboarding and turning way harder for you. But more importantly, I'm also gonna give you the solution on how to make your turns that much more awesome. So make sure you stay tuned. If you're digging the content, definitely subscribe because I'm putting out a whole bunch of nerdy content trying to make you as awesome as possible. So let's get right into it. the very first and most common body position that I would argue over 95%, 90, 95% of snowboarders are in is called a open and aft position. What that simply means is that your lead shoulder is rotated 45 degrees or more over your heel side edge and then you naturally shift about 65 to 70 percent of your weight into your back foot now why that's not awesome is because as i'm in this position i'm not distributing the pressure evenly between both feet so if i start hitting moguls i'm already in the back seat and i'm trying to absorb all that impact with one leg and that could be a bumps or like chunder on the side of the run um, the other significant challenge is that as your shoulders in this open position, I try to go make a toe side turn. Well, I'm so far this way that my shoulder has to rotate all the way back to, to neutral and then rotate in the direction that it needs to go. Now, how long does that take to go from this position to this position? That may take so long that as you're ripping the moguls that you can't make the turn and you run into the moguls. Let's say you're in the trees and they're getting super tight and you're not able to make that toe side turn. Well, then you're running into a tree. Being in a more neutral position with your shoulders, hips, and knees uh, stacked and your lead shoulder perpendicular to your lead foot is a more ideal position because if I want to make a toe side turn, I'm already here. Boom! If I want to make a heel side turn, Boom, I'm already here. I have this versatility to make those turns. So being a more stacked position. Now you may be asking, why, why do I get in this position? This is not sick if that's what Tommy's saying. Well, you perceive your world naturally facing this direction. As I take a handshake, I face forward. If I'm uh, walking down the street, everything's facing forward. So we're trying to take our snowboard body position and mimic what our natural intuitive walking position is. So then we rotate and we're in a less awesome position. So we want to counter that by closing our shoulder and looking in the direction we're going. Now, yes, there's times to open your shoulder and close your shoulder. We can call it an anticipatory turn, meaning if I want to go to my toe side turn, I'll anticipate my shoulder. And then if I want to go heel side, I can anticipate going heel side as well. But I'm not just locked, loaded, open, and wrecked. And I'm going to show you guys some examples of how this is not awesome.
the next point is that you are just leaning over way too much. And what I mean by that is somebody will tell you to get low on your snowboard and your natural reaction is just to get your head lower to the ground, but you're not actually sinking your whole body down to the ground. You end up just flexing at the waist, looking like this. And you lean over your spine and your shoulder gets close to the ground. And now why that's not awesome is as I'm so flexed to the ground, to make super sharp and dynamic turns becomes very hard, as well as I cannot see what's going on. So as you see here, my eyes are down. My spatial awareness is extremely limited because I can't see what the heck's going on around me, simply because I'm like scared and I have my hands close to the ground. You wanna be in more of a spine upright position and flex down by using your knees. The next thing is, well, if I'm in a compromised, not so awesome body position, I have to make my turn somehow. And I make that turn by exaggerating my upper body, trying to generate all this momentum. I see it all the time where somebody will swing their arm trying to make that turn. So they're swinging open, do a turn. They're swinging right, making the toe turn. What ends up happening is really hard to control such an aggressive move. Let's say that you're not swinging your arms around like a boxer, but you're taking your back leg and you're swinging your back leg around kind of like a windshield wiper it's doing this whole thing but you're not actually creating turn shape with your turn you might just be going straight down the hill and you're making these turns but you're not really going left you're not really going right it may be very hard for you to avoid a tree to avoid a person to avoid icy spots so just swinging your back leg around is actually not as awesome as it could be yes there may be a situation where you need to do that for sure but that should not be your primary way of turning again i'm going to give you the solution on how to turn awesome but I just wanna cover all these points first. So make sure you stay tuned. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm freaking almost out of breath. My heart's racing. I'm trying to show you guys these examples. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel at all, the best way to do that is pick up stickers or buy merch. All that stuff is gonna be linked in the description. All that money goes back into the channel by paying for Matt, which is my editor, paying for new jackets, things a little beat up. Also tag me on Instagram if you buy a sticker, I'll give you a shout out. We just hit 75,000 followers and we're, we're shooting for 100, so make sure you guys follow the Instagram. So all that stuff does help so much, you guys have no idea. You guys are amazing. Uh, let's get back into it. Rip! So we've spent most of this video telling you or highlighting these positions that make snowboarding and specifically turning way harder. So now let's get into the solution because that's the point of this video is to make you more awesome. So I got to give you a, a way to turn, right? So the first thing that you want to do is find a nice flat area just like this and then think about getting in a strong athletic position. Think about what is that traditional athletic position? It is shoulders, hips, and knees stacked over your board, and you're in this, uh, I'm feeling good, right? I'm athletic. I'm not super tall, but I'm not overly exaggerated down. Most of us try to do our turns kind of from the upper part of our body. Again, we talked about swinging our arms and stuff, but we're actually gonna get some pretty amazing response if we're actually able to turn our board from closer to the board versus further away. With all that said, we're gonna implement a tactic called knee steering. Now with knee steering, essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our lead shoulder, we're gonna point it in the direction we're going, but we're not, we're not driving the initiation from our lead shoulder. We're essentially allowing our shoulder to point in the direction we're going, allowing us to be in a stacked position and uh, especially for toe side, we're actually like being able to apply pressure over the toe. Now, what we wanna do to actually initiate the turn, we're gonna take our knee and we're gonna imagine that there's a bug on the ankle strap and we're gonna take our knee and squish down as if we're squishing that spider. And we're gonna squish down so our knee travels over our toe. Now, what that's gonna do is allow our board to have early edge engagement, allowing our board to create turn shape. The more aggressive you squish the toe, the faster you're gonna turn. The more progressively you press into that, the longer your turn is gonna be, specifically for skidded turns we're talking about. So I'm able to control how fast I turn by how much pressure I apply onto that boot. Again, because you're using a body part that's closer to the board, it's gonna be a lot more responsive. But to be able to fully do that, you do have to lean over your toe side edge. You do have to have your shoulder stacked over that knee so that your knee is allowed to do the job it needs to do. 
Now when it comes to heel side, we gotta make sure our shoulders open just a little bit. We're gonna make sure our weight is over that front foot. And then instead of pushing our knee back, we're actually gonna rotate our knee. So we're gonna take our femur and our shin and our knee and our entire leg is gonna open. But I open, imagine you're opening a door with your knee. So you're kind of pushing that door open just like this. What that's gonna allow us to do is get early edge engagement on the beginning of our, our edge, allowing us to turn the snowboard and have turn shape. I use both of the tactics of the knee steering for both in the trees, in moguls, ripping around, steeps. It's so darn functional. Now what I want you to do is just start by doing one turn. Isolate that, do a toe side turn. Really figure out how to squish that bug and then go to your heel side. Really figure out how to do that and then combine the two. Yes, you could do one heel side, then one toe side, one heel side. But if it's too much to process, just focus on one. Get really awesome at one, get really awesome at the other and then combine those bad boys together. I find this a lot easier to do on a medium steepness, which allows you to have momentum to make those turns. If you're on something super flat, it, you lose all your speed because the turns are so awesome. So just be aware of that. Now I'm gonna show you guys some examples of both of them. Let's go. Now the key is when you're doing this to have about 60% of your weight on your lead foot so that you're able to squish that one foot over the other. If I'm trying to do knee steering, but I'm pu pushing both feet at the same time, now I'm just gonna end up getting into a carve. So I need to distribute the pressure a little bit more on the front, allowing my board to pivot, which creates a skidded turn. If you're not feeling the performance, it could be because you're not applying enough pressure. You might not be fully committed. You might not be flexing your boots enough to actually get a result out of it. So play around with it, try to feel, okay, this turn was sharp, why? What did I do correctly? This turn is not feeling sharp and it feels laggy, why? Figure out that, if you need to have a friend, come film you, have a friend, come film me like my boy, Sean. Sean has absolutely saved our season. He's been helping out with the filming so much, so big shout out to Sean. He's the man, he's helping me with a lot of back end stuff that is uh, coming up. I got some big, exciting news slash surprises coming up. So uh, yeah, let's go. So hope you guys find that super functional, super awesome. If I missed anything, let me know in the comments below because I can always make a version 2.0, 3.0 and get as much information to you guys as possible because that's the goal of the channel is to make you as awesome as possible. So on that note, we're gonna get out of here because uh, it just got to be the gnarliest freaking flipping storm. And uh, we're gonna go ride some pal, try not to get ran over, but nothing but love, we out.